Hi Sagittarius, my name's Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your October reading for 2017. So, initially, in terms of money and finance, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is you putting in your efforts towards something and then waiting to reap the benefits. This is you um, working hard at something and then deciding to take a step back and look at what you've achieved. But I feel while you're looking at what you've achieved, yeah, um, while you're looking for new opportunities, because this is you looking for new ideas, new opportunities, new ventures. This is you looking to progress at work. You're looking for a way that you can um, progress into what you're doing. Okay. But a side note from that. So next to the Seven of Pentacles, we also had the Eight. And this is about a progression, but I feel like this progression is in terms of love. This could be love and love energy coming in real quick, because next to that we have the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is a water sign, so it could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. But I feel like their emotions, their, their energy can be a bit like hot and cold. Well, not hot and cold as such. They can be a bit like love them and leave them. They want to come in and be romantic and give you all the right talk and um, they're very charming. Um, but I feel like it could be a conquer situation as in they want they need to conquer the, the prize, so to speak. So I would say not to allow this energy. Don't don't allow don't allow the haste to push your pace, let's say, because I feel like with this card right next to it, we have deception and envy. So I feel like this thing that, or this person that could be coming in, I feel like they might not be 100% authentic in who they are. They might not be telling you 100% of the truth of of what they're coming with let's say or um and i feel like they come in and they could try and bowl you over but you you are kind of focused on work you're kind of distracted on on what you're working towards okay so in terms of your wisdom of the oracle we have no place like home now this card is asking you not to kind of rush in to feeling at home with something. This could be um, a friendship that's come in and you feel like you've known this person for ages and you feel like um, you just kind of blend with them and you feel like it's it's a, it's a strong relationship. But this saying that um, not to get too, too cosy, to realize what is home for you and to not allow um, yourself to get kind of carried away with the energy. Because to back that up, we also, um, yeah, because no place like home is also 50, which breaks down to a five, which is about changes, transformations. I feel like you're going through a lot of changes. And in, as you're doing so, these, these people are coming and seeing your energy and wanting to come in and getting a part of that. But you've also got all that glitters. So this is another warning to just tell you to look at what's around you um, clearly. And it's also asking you to question what your motives are. Are you looking for things that only glitter? Are you looking to have the best of everything? Does it matter that you've got the new iPhone 8? Or does it matter that um, you need to have those shoes? Or is it more about being authentic and about standing in who you are, possibly? But it's just be careful about people that are very shiny this month and they're not all that they may be cracked up to be. But with the Deception and Envy card, I would feel like, you could kind of have a conversation about that if you feel certain things are off or because we have the eight here I feel like you could walk away from certain energy this is the eight of cups this is like walking away from things that don't fulfill you so um yeah I feel like you could be doing that but I feel like there could be this kind of it's either you feeling left out in the cold by a, a group or a situation or people or this is you 
with the worry gears going. This is you worrying about what's going to happen because you've got the nine of wands. And like I said, you're quite focused on work and getting that next position at the moment. And you're almost there because the nine talks about almost being at the 10, the 10 is the completion. So the nine is like a break and another step back looking at where you're going. It's like you're evaluating where you're going um, in terms of your career. But they could be a little worry about that. Worry about how you're gonna probably support your children. Worry about how you're gonna afford childcare. Worry about um, how things are gonna work ahead of time. Because I feel like it's something that you're, you're quite new at because you've got that um, page of ones there. So it's something that you're quite new at. So I feel like you're, you're having to find a balance this month, yeah? You're needing to find this balance. The cards are saying you need to find this balance. It's the energy of two, which is, it needs to find that balance. So, what it's asking you to do is, because it came out with the sacral chakra card. Now, the sacral chakra card is very much... Um, about your sexuality, your passions. And for you, Sagittarius, this month, I feel like you've got your passions in terms of your work, but then you've got this thing that's coming in and kind of stirring up your sexuality a little bit. So the sacral chakra card is asking you to balance your sacral chakra by connecting to your hips, by connecting to movement in your hips, salsa, um, yoga, um, meditations that can um, open up your chakras um, but work on all your chakras rather than just focusing on the sacral chakra but it is saying that there you're trying to find a balance this month between your passions and your passions if you know what I mean your work passions and your more internal sexual passions so, like I said, you could be walking away from something this month, feeling like that you've given it enough of your energy and it's time to kind of back away from it now. I feel like it's more on the relationship front than the work front. Okay, so then in walking away from something, like the universe seems to hand you something else. This could be you being drained by people or a situation as well. It could you be feeling emotionally drained and then the universe hands you something else that kind of refills your cup. You get a new love coming in. and um, But this love has the tower there. Or this thing has the tower attached to it. So it could be insights, revelations. It could be like, wow. You know when something just totally knocks you off your feet. So... I don't see it as a bad thing because it's next to the Ace of Cups. I see it as something that's coming in and going to fulfill you into, wow, you know, that sense of a gasp, that sense of shock, that sense of surprise. And we also have zero, which is new beginnings. This is take that leap of faith. This is go with that wow, go with that shock. This is go, 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 jump, have that leap of faith. The universe will catch you. Take care. Stay blessed. Thanks for watching.